The average American spends almost eight hours a day on the computer. Hard to believe, but that means almost eight hours with your hands in the same position. So it's no surprise that carpal tunnel syndrome is becoming a very common problem. This morning, Dr. Karam Pervais is a hand and upper extremity specialist, and he is uh, with Orpedic uh, Associates of Central Maryland joining us here this morning to let us know what we can do and who's most at risk. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Is there a group of people who are more at risk than others? Um, there are certain conditions that are linked to carpal tunnel syndrome, such as diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of uh, pregnant women uh, that get uh, carpal tunnel syndrome during pregnancy or right after. Um, and then people that do repetitive work with their hands, such as typing and r extreme wrist flexion or extension, has been linked to uh, carpal tunnel syndrome and can make your symptoms worse. What are the signs? How do you know that you might um, have this? Most of my patients uh, complain of numbness and tingling in their hands. A lot of people wake up in the middle of the night with numb fingers, have to shake their hands to relieve their symptoms, and then a lot of hand fatigue, weakness, doc, I can't use my hand properly, I'm starting to drop things. Those are some of the very common conditions. So what do you do? Of course, come to see you, and, and then what's next? Um, I usually uh, prescribe a splint for my patients. Um, sometimes I have used cortisone injections. Um, uh, and most of the time I can get people better without surgery uh, and then sometimes depending on how severe their condition is and depending on certain tests that we do, uh, some people just end up requiring surgical release. What kind of surgery would you do to, to fix something like that? Uh, these days we do most of this through very small incisions. Uh, I like um, to hear that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, our recovery is usually very fast. So I tell most of my patients, uh, they usually get it done on a Friday um, and are back to doing most things on a Monday. So you, so Are you cured then? Uh, pretty much. Um, there have been cases where it can come back, but right. uh, it takes about 15 to 20 years if it's going to recur. Let me ask you this. Is there anything you can do to prevent it? You see those little wrist things that you put on your desk, like a little yeah. pad, a little cushion. Does that help? Um, any kind of uh, ergonomic modification to your workstation would definitely help. Um, having your shoulders up, you know, having your arms sort of horizontal right. um, and not slouching down, I mean, that's just better for, you know, avoiding uh, uh, repetitive injuries to your upper extremities. In this day and age, a lot of people, there's no way around it, will be using their computer. Hopefully that helps you. Doctor, thanks for coming in. Thank you. We appreciate it. And if you want more information about Orthopedic Associates of Central Maryland, please go to our website. And you can also go to theirs as well. Theirs is mdbonedocs.com. You can watch Your Health Matters on Sundays right here on Fox 45. For a complete schedule, go to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash yourhealthmatters.